Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. People are supposed to learn from history because history always repeats itself. There's been five earthquakes today along the new Madrid earthquake fault zone along the whole river here. Blythville had a magnitude 2.1, 9.4 kilometers in depth. Tiptonville, Tennessee had a magnitude 1.2. Wrigley, Tennessee has had five earthquakes in the last week. I've talked about this area in the past here. I got a magnitude 1.3. That was December 29th of last year. reason I've talked about this area is all the structures made of masonry. If there's a large earthquake, yeah, it would collapse. And that includes the school. Using Google Earth, yeah, you can see all the stone and uh, cement. See that? Hopefully, if there's a large earthquake, it doesn't happen during the day when school is in session. But maybe right now, because of the coronavirus, it's all shut down. This home across the street. Yeah, brick, stone fireplace, it looks like. There's the school. There's another one across the street. Yep, yeah, would sustain a lot of damage during a major earthquake. Here's another one farther down the road and another one downtown Wrigley. Let's go this way down the road. Looks like they tore that one down. And that one's up for sale. Uh, this is from this year. It says 2020. Let's go a little bit farther. The fire department. Yep, all made of stone. Look at that. Yeah, that's probably a city offices. Oh, that's a clinic. Yep. Looks like they've been working on the uh, what, water lines, city sewer lines. What oh, we got down here on the opposite side, Family Dollar. Another historical building, it looks like, over here. Looks like it's a bank. According to the state of Missouri, some of the strange things that happened during the earthquakes of 1811, 1812, they figure, and it's probably underestimated, there was 2,000 earthquakes in the central Midwest, between 6,000 and 10,000 in the Blue Hill of the Missouri, where the New Madrid is located. After the February 7th earthquake, boatmen reported that the Mississippi River actually ran backwards for several hours. The force of the land upheaval, 15 miles south of New Madrid, created Rillfoot Lake, drowned the inhabitants of an Indian village, turned the river against itself to flow backwards, devastated thousands of acres of Virginia forest, created two temporary waterfalls, in the Mississippi. Uh, people had to get over cracks. Um, as the general area experienced more than 2,000 earthquakes in five months, people discovered that most of the crevices opening up during the earthquake ran from north to south. They would then chop, chop down trees, lay them in an east-west direction, and hold on, using the trees as a bridge just in case they opened up. And there was missing people were most likely swallowed up by the earth. Some earthquake fissures were as long as five miles. I showed you images of the blow holes. holes. Yeah, sand boils. You can see them too, the remnants, using Google Earth. We'll zoom out and take a look at some of this. I mean, look at this. Okay, here's a good example. Yeah, look at those. Sand blow holes. Or sand mixed with water, and it actually shot up from the ground. Seismic tar balls, small pellets up to the size of a golf ball, um, were found in sand blowholes and fissures. Earthquake lights, warm water, water thrown up by the earthquake was lukewarm. What does that tell you? Um, some fissure that goes down to the heated water of some volcanic structure. Earthquake smog. 
The skies turned dark during the earthquake, so dark that lighted lamps didn't help. The air smelled bad and it was hard to breathe. I wonder if that was sulfur dioxide or CO2. Animal warnings. People reported strange behavior of animals before the earthquake. They were nervous and excited. Snakes came out of the ground. Flocks of ducks and geese landed near people. Yeah, they were totally freaked out. Can you imagine the damage to an infrastructure these days if a fissure opened up that was five miles long? And yet people still don't prepare for any type of disaster. Even now there's naysayers, you know, with the coronavirus saying, oh, it's all phony, it's all fake. Yeah, nothing to worry about. Fake news. We got the pipeline for oils. We got the uh, major infrastructure for electricity that goes through here across the country. Bridges. How would first responders open up when the ground opens up and prevents people from getting to you to help you? So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe. Always have a plan. Always be prepared. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you.